today we are going to study the next phytohormone that is the ethylene unlike the other phytohormones ethylene is gaseous hormone it is the only one hormone that is gaseous in nature it has very simple structure like this and it is produced in high all higher plants here is the structure of the ethylene you can see c double bond c it has four hydrogen atoms so the molecular formula becomes c2 H4. Fine. Now coming to the discovery of the ethylene. Uh, in 1864, it was found in the streets of the Germany that the gas illuminating the streets caused the leaf fall in the roadside shade trees. Later, in 1879, it was found that the illuminating gas promoted the ripening of the oranges. Fine. And in both the cases, the gas was identified as ethylene, which promoted the ripening of the orange and which caused the leaf fall in the roadside shade trees. So, this gas was identified as ethylene. Later, Gann et al. identified ethylene as a natural product in plants. They concluded that ethylene is naturally produced in the plants. And later, in 1970, Galston and Davis recognized it as a plant growth regulator. Or you can say ethylene was put under the category of the plant growth regulators or phytohormones like auxins, gibberellins. Fine. So, this is about the discussion. Now coming to the role of the ethylene. Ethylene is also called as death hormone. Why it's called as death hormone? It causes epinasty, it causes senescence, it causes uh, abscission. That is why it's also called as a death hormone. Hormone. It causes aging, it causes the leaves to turn yellow and it causes abscission. It's called as death hormone. Now here we are going to study the role of ethylene. A brief overview. It causes you know, it um, helps in the processes in plants such as seed germination, cell expansion, cell differentiation, flowering, senescence, abscission and fruit drop. So here the very important role of ethylene that is the triple response. In a plant what ethylene does it induces a triple response and what is the triple response? Triple response is reduced stem growth. It does not allow the stem to grow much uh, vertically so it reduces the stem growth increased lateral growth it induces the growth but laterally it increases the it increases the growth of the lateral buds you can say and abnormal horizontal growth and a plant grows but it grows abnormal horizontally it does not grow vertically so this is called the triple response and it is induced by ethylene so what comes under um, uh, this uh, triple response Reduce stem growth, increase lateral growth and abnormal horizontal growth. Now, let me tell you, ethylene induces epinasty. Epinasty is downward curvature of the leaves. Here you can see the plant, it has normal leaves. The lamina of the leaves is normally uh, facing uh, like upward direction. But when the leaves start drooling and uh, they uh, just uh, curve towards the downward side, it's called as epinasty and it's induced by ethylene. Ethylene and high concentration of auxins induce epinasty. When ethylene is present and auxins are present in high concentration, they induce the epinasty in the leaves. Fine. So, why they induce the where, uh, why and when they induce the epinasty in the leaves? Yeah, they induce the epinasty in the water lodged plants. The plants which get water lodged where the flooding occurs, they induce the epinasty in those plants and what does it do why the epinasty is induced these uh, plants you know the leaves behave like the oars of a boat the boat has oars which drive the boat so the leaves here behave like a oar and help a plant to drain the or uh, to move away the excess water so epinasty occurs in the water lodged plants and it's a response induced by ethylene so i hope i'm clear here now ethylene is also called as floriculture's foe 
floricultures enemy you can say why it's called as floricultures uh, enemy because ethylene increases the abscission of the leaves it makes the leaves to fall down leaves petals flowers or buds my fine if a, a flower is extern, uh, externally given a dose of ethylene what happens the petals the leaves uh, start to um, fall off first of all they turn yellow and then they start to fall off and that's why it's called as floricultures four it is the ethylene which induces the aging or senescence in the plants and downward curvature of the petioles of various ornamentals i uh, you, you might have seen uh, that we have ornamentals in our homes and sometimes their leaves cur uh, curve downwards and it is the process induced by ethylene that's why ethylene is also called as floricultures four and what does ethylene do one of the important role of ethylene is it induces the abscission fine uh, as i already told you that the auxins delay senescence they delay the aging as long as oxygen is present in the higher concentration of the leaf uh, as long as oxygen is present in higher concentration in the leaves the leaves stay green as soon as the oxygen concentration starts declining the ethylene concentration gets increased here and as a result the ethylene concentration gets increased and here at the petiole a layer called abscission layer is formed and as a result the separation layer digests and the leaf turns yellow and falls off in this manner the ethylene uh, acts you know um, helps in the process called abscission whereby auxin acts as its suppressor if a leaf is externally applied auxins the ethylene cons the ethylene does not induce abscission so you, here you can say ethylene um promotes abscission or aging also fine so this is all about ethylene so if there are any questions please let me know thank you so much